Beekeeping is expensive. If you're a beekeeper, you know that. But thankfully, you can actually make money as a beekeeper even in your first year. This is my first year as a beekeeper and I've been amazed at how much money I'm making. So I am gonna show you how to make money your first year as a beekeeper with only one or two hives and where to sell your honey. Let's get down to beesness. This video is not about how much it costs to get into beekeeping. If you're interested in that, I actually made a video and I priced out how much it costs to be a beekeeper for your first year. You can check out the link. This video is about making money as a beekeeper. So there's a few things you have to realize, some truths. The first truth is you're not going to get a lot of honey your first year. So you're not gonna have a lot of product to work with. Second, most people their first year, they overlook something crucial, beeswax. Beeswax in some ways is more valuable than honey and I'm going to explain why. There's a third product that I have not explored yet and that's propolis. Um, I may work on that next year, but there are three main resources you can get honey, beeswax, propolis, actually a forest. You can actually harvest bee pollen. Um, but I am only focusing on honey and beeswax products in this video. So the key to making money your first year, and I'm talking $500 plus with only one or two hives, is diversification. That's right, diversification. What's diversification? It's like any other business. You want to have as many products available as you can, especially since you're not gonna have a lot of honey. If you're a big time beekeeper, you can make tons and tons of money with just honey. But if you're a first time beekeeper, you may only have 20 pounds your first year, maybe 60. I had about 60 pounds of honey my first year. So this is what I did. I used what little honey I had and I had a multitude of products. So first I'm going to show you all of my honey products that I'm offering this year. First I am selling one pound bottles of honey. I did not have a lot of these because since I did not have a lot of honey I decided to make a lot of smaller bottles. I also had half pound bottles. So right off the bat, I have one product that I am packaging in three different ways. And I try to make it as cute as I could for my first year. I got professionally made labels. This is actually our own personal honey, so the label doesn't look too cute. Um, and it's partially used. This is in our cabinet. We sold all of our half pound bottles. So just by selling honey in a wide variety of sizes, you are increasing the potential customers that could be interested in your products. Um, these I sell for about $3, this is 10 to 12, and this is about $8. So I have um, a wider base of customers that I can sell to. But this is not the only type of honey I'm selling. So let me show you my two other honey products. I have two other honey products that in my first year I've explored. One is cut comb honey. I made 20 um, squares of cut comb honey. Again, this appeals to different types of people. This is more kind of an old school type of honey. It's um, a way to guarantee that you are getting local honey. It is 100% um, still in the wax. Um, and I also made creamed honey. So again, since I did not have a lot of honey this year, I made small jars of honey, which we are selling, or of creamed honey, which we are selling at a local craft fair very, very soon. And I also used some scrap fabric from my wife's sewing hobby um, to just make it look a little bit cuter. Uh, my wife told me if you can make it look cute, it's gonna be a lot easy to sell or a lot easier to sell. So right off the bat, I've already shared 
uh, really five different products. I had three different sizes of pure honey, the creamed honey, and the cut comb. So now I'm going to show you the products I use out of my limited amount of beeswax. The first thing I made with my uh, beeswax, which again, I had a limited amount. As a first year beekeeper, you wanna be very diligent in collecting beeswax every time you do an inspection. It may just be a little bit of beeswax each inspection, but beeswax can go a long way depending on what you're using it for. So my first product that I made was candles. So these actually are a 50% beeswax mixture with coconut oil. So um, I have three different sizes and styles, again, to appeal to people with different budgets. These, of course, are much more affordable, um, but I am able to use less beeswax. I also made a few very limited, pure 100% beeswax candles. Isn't this beautiful? I think it's beautiful. So this uses a lot more beeswax, which I learned in my first year that I really can't make too many of these because again, you have a limited amount of beeswax that you're able to harvest. So candles are pretty typical, but I'm gonna show you even more ways I've used my beeswax. Lip balm. This is a great way to use a limited amount of beeswax. Um, this is a recipe that is beeswax, um, shea butter, and I believe a little bit of almond oil actually. So you don't need a lot of beeswax to make a lot of lip balm. Um, I made over a hundred of these that again, we are selling locally and we're selling at a craft fair. Um, my wife again, very smart woman, my wife, she said, make it cute. So I spent a little extra money ordering nice labels but my wife had a point that no one's going to buy a blank lip balm. That just doesn't appeal to anyone. Um, so lip balm, if you have a limited amount of beeswax, probably the first thing you should make is lip balm. That's actually the first thing I made. You need a little bit of beeswax and it goes a long, long way. I made beeswax moisturizer bars. That's right, very fancy. This keeps you nice and uh, smooth, that skin, you know. I mean, look how beautiful my skin looks. Um, this is another great way to use beeswax. It has other ingredients in it. If you're interested in learning how to make it, I have a video that I will link. And again, the packaging is really important. Make it look cute. If it's cute, people are going to be much more um, liable to even look at it. If it's not packaged in a, a, um, an appealing way, people may not even look at it. And again, if you notice, I made three different um, designs to appeal to uh, more people. That's what's important. Appeal to as many different customers as you can. You're probably going, wow, this guy has done a lot this year with beekeeping. I'm not done yet, people. There's one more product I'm going to share with you. I made ornaments. These are pure beeswax ornaments. I also have a video just on how to make these. It's very, very simple. Um, but this appeals to more people. And it's 100% beeswax, locally um, harvested beeswax. Um, I'm selling these locally and at craft fairs. I may be selling them online. So those are all of the products that I am exploring this year. I've made over $500 selling all of my products. So I am super, super excited. So again, the key is to have lots of different products and to increase what products you have by having variety. So have as many products as you can 
as many varieties within those products. For example, with my lip balm, we have uh, seven different flavors of lip balm. Is that what you would call it, a flavor? You don't eat it. Um, but right, seven different flavors of lip balm, so it's going to appeal to seven different people. So another tip is where am I selling my products? Well, first of all, like I've mentioned several times, craft fairs, which we have a big craft fair coming up. I also sold online, and I'm going to continue to sell online. A lot of my products I've kept because of this big craft fair that's coming up, but as soon as that craft fair is over, I'm going to go ahead and sell, hopefully, the rest of my products online. Um, what's another way I've sold? Oh, I my honey is actually in a local store in our town that just opened up. So don't be afraid to approach a local business to see if they will sell your honey. Now, of course, you will be um, uh, getting less money for your honey by selling it that way, but you're selling more honey and you don't have to find the customers. So that's what I did. I sold 15 pounds of honey to a local store. I get my name out there and I'm hoping that that relationship continues. I'm going to hopefully next year approach even more small businesses. A small business usually only needs a small amount of honey or these other products, so that really works very naturally, very organically. So I hope this video has helped you. Hopefully it's encouraged you to invest in beekeeping, to explore the products that are out there, and to not quit. This is again my first year as a beekeeper. I've learned so much. I can't wait till next year. If you've enjoyed this video, please, please subscribe, share it, leave any comments. Um, I love the interactions with subscribers and viewers and have a great afternoon. I know I will.